Welcome to some more messed up mod fun with Q. How about we go to the beach? Beach. Vinewood sign. Home. Airport. So as you can tell, I've uh, hooked in commands for this thing to be able to um, respond to voice commands, and I can go to the beach. It's the first time I've heard that. Beach. So, what I've done is I've just uh, chained this into basic commands and everything as the uh, player's playing. And um, it responds to voice commands, and I'm hardwiring this in via Dev Studio, um, something called scripthook.net. And I've got some basic commands it responds to, you know, for instance, home, beach. The reason I'm having them teleport just about uh, one meter above the ground is because a collision model takes a while for it to load. So, it's not instantaneous because of my computer speed and everything. So, go to the beach. Now cheer. Sit. No hands, mind you. Stand. Commands are a little touchy right now. Um, cheer. Sit. Stand. Kneel. Stand. Jump. 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 Jump home. That's kind of cool. I had a mission there. Anyways, so to show you what I'm doing behind the scenes on this, um, I'm going to pause it real quick and jump over and do the whole Dev Studio thing. So, let's turn off the video source for that and give it a second while I pop this up and actually make sure I'm grabbing the right uh, Dev Studio version. There we go. Okay. So I've got uh, some voice commands and I'm leveraging um, it, Windows 10 actually has speech recognition built into it, and this is actually kind of cool. So I've done a link to it, um, reference the speech engine right there, and I've created a set of commands that I currently support, and here's the ones that I've implemented so far. So the no op command, which is nothing, zeros, um, sit, stand, kneel, jump, um, cheer. So I've got the emotes, and I'm going to call these actions. So, actions, emotes, and locations. So I can say home, vine, woodside, and beach, and airport. And uh, what I do is I, if you take a look here, go through and show the implementation. All I do is I just uh, add an event to listen to speech being recognized. Um, I add in the command list, and the command list is very simple. Uh, it's jump, sit, stand, kneel, cheer, home, vine, wood sign, beach, and airport. And uh, at that point, I load as a word list and into the grammar builder, and I actually load it directly into the uh, the speech engine, and uh, I set it to listen to the default audio device. And um, yeah, at that point, I just uh, I'd get some stuff that I was doing before. Now, if you look at the event, the event processing. It actually goes here to the engine speech recognized, and at this point it'll recognize that command, and I'll change, and I'll just say, okay, we got a sit command, a stand command, and uh, because I'm actually working in my multi-threaded environment, I can't do the GTA um, calls directly here, so I have to wait for the tick to actually come through. And with that, the, uh, the tick uh, will come through, and on tick, at that point, is where I implement the actual command action itself. So the jump, if you didn't notice that, wasn't instantaneous. The cheer wasn't instantaneous. I could certainly get it to be instantaneous, you know, if, um, if I ended up um, having some kind of, I mean, I'll probably be able to figure that out later and everything, but 
um, the call here. So I'm making a call to jump, I'm making a call to sit. So I've got a task sequence that I build. Um, this right here, the jump, I just uh, actually execute the jump directly through a function call. Um, the task sequences and everything, that's actually, these are something that you play animations that, uh, that you do. And as far as the uh, teleportation is concerned for locations, um, each one of these is actually just uh, executing. Um, it, it sets a vector location, the XYZ axis, and at that point I was doing a get ground Z for 3D coordinates. It didn't seem to make a shade of difference uh, even if I set the player firmly on the ground. Um, I just came to figure out that it was a collision model. It's taken a couple seconds or not even that just a fraction of a second for it to load, but that latency is enough to actually cause my character to go right through the ground. So what I ended up doing was just uh, taking the uh, the ground-based coordinate, um, which was 71.5. I ended up increasing it by one, which is equivalent to one meter, and uh, makes it so where, yeah, he teleports to just above ground level, but uh, at that point that's enough time to, uh, to make sure that the um, ground has actually been loaded and everything. So we have uh, four different uh, locations here so far that I've implemented. Home, Vine, Woodside, Beach, and uh, Airport. And each I physically went to to get the location and uh, grab that location directly. Um, this is Legacy. I don't need this in there. So I'll remove the offset. I was trying to... It's doing some unsafe code here if you can't tell. Ground Z for 3D coordinates and making sure that uh, you know, is uh, going through and actually adjusting the vector accordingly and then setting the player position accordingly and it was still following through. And it's just like, what the hell's going on? Well, you know, if I set the uh, the vector at, uh, at that point just um, one meter above it, and it works a lot better. And um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I end up uh, going through and it's this is actually successfully responding to voice commands. Now this only works in Windows 10. Um, it's a little bit glitchy right now, particularly the animation transitions. And uh, I suspect that if you're on a slower machine, you're probably going to see the same problem that I was seeing at, uh, at, with the um, falling through the uh, falling through the, the floor and everything. But you know, the fact of the matter is it's, you know, it's kind of cool actually having this thing respond to voice commands. Now, I saw another another mod out there that does a response to commands, but it's it's more or less doing the same shit that any of the native trainers do, you know, so it's uh, it's going through and just like spawn all this stuff and everything, but there's nothing that allows you to actually act as an individual. You know, I, I have a hard time, you know, with any mods, being able to sit, being able to stand, being able to, you know, do the basic things that any individual can do, and that's actually the goal of this mod. I will be posting this on GTA Mods. Um, I think it's gta-mods.com to uh, to you know to go through and do this, and you know just to get feedback and everything. And I don't know, you know, just hopefully see see how it goes. But uh, the goal is to actually make it so they have a lot more dynamic capability, you know, for the individual as a character and you know I I may put some things in that, that let you um, the the point isn't to abuse the system you know I mean I feel like a lot of the mods out there the native trainers and that kind of stuff the solitary goal is to bump up your ammo to infinity or to change your models and to do all this stuff no I want to add some functionality that you don't see in uh, that, that you don't have easy access to through the keyboards you know the teleportation that's kind of fun you know, but the emotes and everything, it's just like, you know, if you're moving around and everything and you say jump, well, at that point, you know, your character can jump or can actually move into a, into a crouch or, you know, to be able to look at certain things and everything. Look over there. Now, I've got to work on, you know, the complexity of these commands and everything to make it a little bit, uh, so it's a little bit less responsive. But uh, yeah, you can see the end result. Um, I'll go through and recompile this real quick. It gets put over to that directory automatically, so I've got a scripts directory and a log over here. And you can see it uh, just compiled, 529, look at the date time, it just compiled and got put over there. So if I go over here, shut off that, turn that back on, come back over here. Yes, we're back up and come back here to GTA yeah that didn't work out well did it pause menu just do a reload 
I played this game through at least uh, at least half a dozen times. I'm playing through it again. It's the first official copy I've actually had demoing it. I'm kind of having fun with the modding for it, but I'm going to strip off the mods and continue so I can get the achievements and everything. But I uh, just wanted to play with the, uh, the mods for a little bit and mess around with the characters and that kind of stuff. So, give it a second. This will show you how fast my machine... This isn't really the development machine of choice and everything. It's a... Uh, it's definitely a, kind of a gaming rig, but it is a laptop. And just wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Check an OBS, make sure. There we go. Stop! Stop! Why is he doing this? Okay. Beach. Beach. There you go. Jump. So here he, you're running. All of a sudden he goes into the transition. I gotta figure that out. Stand. Jump. 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 You see the potential this can have for... <laughs> as long as I get that working out. Cheer! 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 Vinewood sign. Home. Anyways, that's it for now. I got some kinks to work out, clearly. Thank you for watching and listening, as usual.